I feel really bad for Ting, and it felt like half of this episode, episode nine of Demon Slayer, Kimitsu no Yaiba, the Entertainment District arc, was like, let's just flag the hell out of him and his wives, because, like, it's all about, you know, departed, and about, you know, making this this promise that they're all going to just give up this whole entire life and live alone a normal life, and it's like, stop, <laughs> just, just stop. Now, technically, how it ended... I guess the, at least the last shot that we get of Tengen, it goes out of its way to show that he's had one of his hands cut, which pretty much indicates that at least unless he gets involved again, it, there's a good chance that Tengen will survive this whole thing, but he's it's going to usher in his retirement, obviously, because typically with a warrior, when they lose a hand and they're not Nezuko and they're not a demon, you can't just put it back on. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe we'll have some crazy secret art of healing that will incorporate out of nowhere that suddenly reattached bones and everything. I, I wouldn't put it beyond the realm of possibility, but yeah, just a, a really a solid episode. Not too much to talk about, but really just the end of it. <laughs> it was all like loaded at the end of this episode. We did have Tandra at some point uh, talking about how different, uh, at least the best of the warriors all kind of figure out their own way of doing things. He's not discarding the knowledge that was instilled upon him, but he's rather just acknowledging the idea that the best of the best will typically craft their own art. And that seems to be the case here is he's wanting to, I guess, fuse both the Hinokami uh, Kagura and the water breathing technique and kind of fusing them together out of nowhere. <laughs> and that was his way of really getting his own art that would, I guess, have both power and speed additionally with it. But yeah, just a lot of focus on, yes, the brides of Tengen and the promises that he was kind of leaving behind and that desire for him to save uh, specifically Hina Hinatsuru, who is obviously put in danger. Thankfully, Tanjiro is able to get there in time. I like that he kind of comes in there and says, thank you, Tanjiro. I, I owe you one. But then kind of quickly shifting over to at least taking down Daki. Like, let's, let's handle this one first. Tanjiro leaves the side of Tengen and goes on his own, which he regrets later, but really focusing on taking her down. And, like, we had another full-on, <laughs> long explanation conversation out of Zenitsu. I think, again, at this point, we just need to get a whole bunch of sleeping pills, and we'll just dose up Zenitsu every time we go into a battle. But, yes, giving Inosuke, Inosuke like, the cue that we need somebody that can, you know, not just... Because her neck is so flimsy, we need somebody that will be able to pierce it. And so he does his little scissor art. Well, no, it wasn't a scissor art. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a scissor art, but it was like this, <laughs> this like sawing thing. I'm like, wow, I guess that was a good reason why they cut that away. Because that would probably be pretty disturbing to watch that whole process of sawing it. Yeah, I love that he, after where Nosuke takes the head and just starts like charging away. And then, yeah, everything, everything at this point has hit the fan. Because Inosuke gets pierced, well, it was it was kind of one of those obvious things where I'm like, yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense that Yotaro wasn't going to let Inosuke just walk away. So he immediately just, somebody's got my sister, he's running off, and he immediately goes up there and, yeah, straight through the chest. I mean, that's supposedly a death blow. I mean, and we might find out that Inosuke has some sort of bestial ability to relocate his heart or something, but that was a, that was a heart that was a heart strike, so we'll see how they explain if they're going to explain that Inosuke is still alive because that was a death that was a death blow. But yeah, and then he looks over to Tengen. Tengen's down on the ground and he's lost a hand. And then looking over to Zenitsu, Zenitsu pushes Tundra away and he's caught in a bunch of slices of the belt or the yeah the belt. Yeah, it's everybody's down except for Tundra and Nezuko. So. What's next? That's the big question mark at this point, because Yatoro and Daki are pretty much in good condition. I mean, all you got to do is reattach Daki and she's good. And they haven't really done much to Gotaro. So I, I guess at this point, the theories for me is really, are we going to finally see the Tanjiro Nezuko combination? Are we finally going to see the two? Because that was my whole thing early on when uh, Ten Tengen first showed up and he brought Nezuko away. It was like this opportunity that we have the demon sister or the demon siblings and we have the demon slayer siblings. So maybe my initial you missed an opportunity is going to become an opportunity that they're going to actually do is have Nezuko and Tanjiro fight against these two. The only other thing I can think of at this point is Yotaro and Daki just leave, which I don't see that happening. Or do we see some of the other demon slayers show up? 
because obviously some emphasis was put on the geniuses of the team, which was, I think it was um, Muichiro and Yomai. Those are the two that at least Tengen were kind of noting at some point as being like these geniuses. I doubt that would be kind of convenient, but either some other Hashiras have to show up at this point, or we're going to get the Tanjiro Nezuko combination to fight because I don't see, yeah, Tengen can have one more final go, but if he's not able to take down Gyatoro alone, how is he going to take down Gyatoro and Daki? It's a big question mark at this point, but my my mind is leaning more towards either there's going to be a new Hashira that's going to show up and save the day, or Tanjiro and Nezuko is going to have to take it on. That's that's kind of where my prediction is going. So, and that'll be great because, like I said before, that's kind of what we need. It's kind of already established this idea of the siblings, and I think that's going to be a really cool way to kind of wrap things up. We technically only have two more episodes, so. <laughs> I hope it doesn't leave on a really bad note, but uh, at least at this point, like I said, my mind's going towards, despite the fact of how much flagging they just shoved into this episode, I think Tengen, unless he gets back up, he's just going to be disabled. And that, that was my whole hope with this whole thing, is I don't want another, again, the, to establish the idea of having Hashira show up, Hashira dies. Hashira shows up, Hashira dies. Because that's going to be a really bad pattern for the writer to get into. Now, granted, there is a, an, an argument to be made that the whole concept here is to take down the demon corpse and then, or the demon slaying corpse, and then eventually the big final battle is going to be Tanjiro, the only remaining that is not a Hashira yet, having to fight up against Muzen. But I don't know. I don't really think that's a requirement. I think there's a lot of stories out there, especially long running epics, that do establish this idea that there are people that are more powerful than the main character. But the main character themselves make a statement, and they stand up to the powers and achieve something. So, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Either way, it was a like I said, a fantastic episode. Really enjoyed it. Um, really nasty cliffhanger. <laughs> but we'll have to see next week where it goes from here. But like I said, I I think my my prediction is more that it's going to finally be that the siblings fight. And again, are they going to let Nusuke die? Or are they going to actually try to justify him getting literally impaled to the heart? So we'll see. That's my thoughts on the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Let me know what your predictions are. Do you think it's going to be the siblings? Do you think it's going to be another Hashira? Or do you think Tengen's going to get up again and somehow one-handed <laughs> defeat the foe? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video if you can. Support us on Patreon. I'll throw a tips link in the description below. Definitely appreciate it, but it does. And y'all take care.